Hey there, everybody. This is Kevin Daisy, your host of Journey to 100 Million podcast. Today, we're doing a live episode for a future episode of the podcast. So if you're turning in live uh, or maybe you're on Facebook, you're on YouTube or LinkedIn. If not, this will also be up on LinkedIn or, uh, and YouTube later to check out. So, But again, this will be for a future episode of the Journey to 100 Million podcast. And today, I have a special guest, Sean Clark with High Level. Sean, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So I got the uh, the dot .com uh, below, gohighlevel.com. Guys, check that out. I'll also put that in the comments so that you can click on that and go check out their service, their company. And we're going to hear a little bit about that company, what they do, Sean's story, and how he can possibly help your business. So, Sean, give us a, the elevator pitch. Sure. Um, and, yeah, and so High Level is, is an all-in-one platform for your business, both on the digital marketing side as well as the operations side. So imagine all the apps you, if you're out there today, you're using six or seven different software applications, you're trying to smash them all together. Maybe you're trying to serve clients with them. We basically bring it all into one platform and we make it seamless. So, you know, that could be Calendly, it could be Schedule Ones, Active Campaign, ClickFunnels, whatever. Um, just imagine all of those platforms. You only had to buy one of those platforms. And they were all seamlessly interwoven together, so you didn't have to use Zapier all the time. That's high level. Very nice. So yeah, we a lot of things you just mentioned we use. Um, so our agency, we have two agencies. Um, uh, Zapier. I don't know how many Zaps we have, hundreds. I'm sure. And uh, <laughs> and then all the other tools that you you mentioned, we we have. You know, we use that, or our clients use that. Sure. Um, sometimes we're managing this for our clients. Sometimes we're just setting those up for our clients. Uh, sometimes they're just for us. Um, or you know, it's all that stuff, and you got to manage all those things. So, um, I guess tell me, you know, how are some of the ways with with your system that you've helped an agency like ours get to that next level, or or maybe some challenges that you you help yeah, them with? For sure. So, I mean, the the first thing we always do again is we replace the tool set that the agency are using. Um, again, um, instead of stringing things together with hundreds of zaps, it's a lot easier to cut Zapier out and just have one platform. And when you have one platform, you can do a lot more with it because, you know, like there's all kinds of simple stuff. You know, a lot of people I'll see, they'll do an opt-in to a calendar booking. And the if I try to go do the calendar booking after I've opted in, all the stuff I put in the opt-in form doesn't move to the calendar, which guess what? That lowers the number of people who book. Super simple example with our system that doesn't happen because we own the calendar and we own the landing page builder. So the information passes over, your opt-in rates go up for bookings. Really, you know, a very tiny example of something, but when you have it all in one platform, it makes it super simple. And then we also are white label. So we help, instead of having agencies go out and sell other people's products for them, we have the agency go out and sell their own product. Um, and, and as a result, we're able to, if you've ever been an agency, you've had a situation where you recommended a product to a customer and then it, they end up cutting your services and keeping the product. Well, yeah. we, we fix that problem because now the product's coming from you, not from us. And because it's white labeled, it's under your logo, your brand, your URL, all that stuff. Now that customer doesn't leave you, it's incredibly sticky. Um, and so from an agency perspective, it's just about making you that sole provider of all the things your clients need. Yeah, and so, you know, I, I like that. And it's very important, I think, because <clears throat> say like Podium as an example, um, we can have a Podium for a client that again, we we had a level of, you know, oversight and setup and we usually have to work with our clients quite a bit just to use the tool. Um, and even though, you know, sometimes you can set it up and just forget it. Like our, we have to constantly be working with our clients to make sure that they're responding to Podium, whether it's the uh, the chats or the, the reviews. So, we you know, we work with them to get a plan together, too, to maximize it. Um, and, and sometimes automation for the reviews isn't good for some types of businesses. Sure. They want to hand select them and send them and they'll task us with that. So. But at the same time, Podium is going to go sign them directly if, for whatever reason, they're not going to keep us with it. So, or they might want to keep the Podium, and now they're paying them still, and, and we're kind of out of the picture. So that's right. Um, yeah. So Absolutely. I like the fact that you guys say, "Hey, we're we're on the agency side, and uh, we're not going to basically take clients." <laughs> that's right. Exactly. We don't. We, that's 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 what makes us different and special, and why we're unique in the market. We're we're the only people out here. Who, you know, if, the, if your agency does well, we do well. If your agency doesn't do well, we don't do well. So we've aligned our interests <laughs> together. And so as a result, we're always fighting for the agency. Um, whereas everybody else in the market, you know, they may 
li like you, but they, they really only like you as far as getting your customers from you. And then they, they don't really care what happens to you after that. <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. So uh, also, anyone tuning in live right now, you got any questions? Please put them in the comments and we will get those answered. Sean will be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, asking some tough questions if you got them. So, uh, so give us a little bit more. Give me a little bit more information uh, about uh, how your, your your pricing model, how you guys operate uh, your yeah. business, because this this show is all about entrepreneurship, growing a business, scaling a business. Uh, so, you know, what kind of agencies could work with you if anyone's tuning in right now? Yeah, absolutely. What, uh, so what are they looking for? Is you know, as far as a, a pricing model or? Oh yeah, absolutely. Know. So our pricing is actually really flat and very simple. It's it's, it's 97, 297, and 497. 97 is for one location. That's really just designed for people who are brand new agencies or just kind of trying it out. 297 is unlimited locations. Um, and then 497 is also unlimited locations. The only difference is uh, you get uh, all of the billing because um, we're really helping agencies resell the platform and on a recurring monthly basis because we don't want to just replace all of your tools. We think that's awesome. That's a great start, but we also really want to make you more money. <laughs> and what we've realized over time is that as agencies start to provide these services, they also need a, a platform to help automate a lot of the billing uh, stuff that goes with it. Um, and also, if you think about um, this type of platform, you're going to be doing a lot of outbound email, inbound email, outbound texting, inbound texting, outbound calls, inbound calls, all of those things cost money. So we also, yeah. on the billing platform, allow you to mark up and resell the usage as well. So there's a lot of the great uh, sort of recurring revenue and usage model uh, that we give you, but it's, it's really simple, 97, 297, 497. And then you get all the, as many sub accounts as you want, as many users, as many contacts. We don't play any well, of those games. Yeah, I like that. Cause I mean, a lot of places or a lot of software like a HubSpots and all those out there, it's just, you know, they get you good time. Uh, if you yeah. have 10 people on the team, it's like, oh, well, Ooh, yeah. Oh, great. congratulations. You just unlocked a new tier. You're going to pay us twice as much. And you're like, yeah, and everything is locked. And it's like, you, you can't use this until that's you right. upgrade exactly. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's why we're taking a lot of those customers. Uh, that makes sense. So that's really cool. So uh, with the platform, so something an agency uses for themselves, mm -hmm. but and, also something they yep, resell exactly. to their clients. Precisely. And so the way we think about it is when you add a client in, right, there's going to be a certain feature set that the client can can use and you want them to use. Think about the podium example you gave. Like you want them in there responding to reviews or chats or those sorts of things, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say we're building a uh, workflow automation, like or an automation or the marketing automation or a funnel page or you know that kind of thing, right? A sequence of some kind. That's something the agency is going to do. And so we put all the tools in there that and we cohabitate essentially. And the agency gets to choose how this works. So they get to choose which features the client see, which ones they don't see, um, all of that stuff. And then you know on, on our side. We sort of think of it as our job to just basically continue to replicate out um, every last feature that either the agency needs or the SMB needs um, to create stickiness for the SMB and stickiness for the agency, and then help build a revenue model for the agency as well. Excellent. Uh, well, this is a comment that came in from Eric mm -hmm. Olson. He's the host of the show and my business partner. Um, I guess this is referring to uh, a few minutes ago. Can't compete with your own clients. So he's referring to everybody else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. I think that's, uh, you know, I, I know there are some companies that try to say that they somehow write down who the customers are and all that. But I mean, if you've ever, if you have done this for five minutes, you know, none of that actually ever happens and doesn't work. So, well, uh, and they, I mean, they have massive sales teams and people just call on everybody and totally. they're, they're yeah, not absolutely. Gonna... yeah, you got it. Yeah. But like, oh, you use podium. Oh, really? How much are you paying for it? <laughs> that's right. What if I told you I could get you for half the price? We got we got a great deal. We got a good special right now. Yeah, let me slide you on over. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, the podium over here, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they're not alone, right? It, that's the business model of every other company out there because they're trying to. They're saying, you know, how you know they're venture backed or publicly traded, and they have stockholders and shareholders who want ever yeah. bigger piles of money. And um, you know, we we when we came to market, we said, you know, how can we do this differently? Um, and, and honestly, when we looked at the equation, if you think about every customer you've ever seen who has a lot of these apps, when you really dive in and look, okay, well, what are they using exactly, right? I mean, they tend to be using like one or two things. Um, and it's because they don't have time and they don't have expertise to actually go in and really use the app the way it's supposed to, right? And that's where you come as an agency. And that's how you, I mean, because you know these things. And so from our perspective, that's the other piece that we see. We see that most of these products are oversold and underutilized by the customer base. 
And what's the net effect? Their business is, is suffering because they're not able to implement it. So if we, 100%. If we put this behind the agency, if we empower the agency to be the person really bringing this whole solution to market, and yeah, I can't just get around you <laughs> um, and buy yeah. from that, you know, that, that seasonal special or whatever, um, you know, I'm going to actually do better by, by keeping you longer. Right. Well, yeah, this is, that's all the value added right there. So, um, you know, it's like for HVAC, you know, we have rival digital does HVAC um, service Titan. It's a massive platform. Everyone uses perfect example. Um, yes, absolutely. And you know, a lot of our, a lot of our clients, we get in there and help them with their service Titan. We're not getting paid for it. We just, we need to like check them things out. Service we have to verify. Thank things. you. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. We, we need to make sure that they're using it properly, that the leads that we generate for them are being followed up on. And so we'll, we'll get into their service site and, and just to, you know, verify some things and make sure they're using it properly, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, and service I, is a great tool. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, that's, that's the wrong vision of the future, right? So, I mean, the service sites of the world, they've raised almost a billion dollars. Um, they'll have every feature under the sun, but a great HVAC company is not a great marketing company, right? Uh, ultimately a great HVAC company focuses on their craft and their trade. And ultimately the, the people who are going to help them, really grow their HVAC company or people like an agency like you, right? And so it, it's my perspective that the tools that are going to be used are going to be the ones that you bring to the market, not the ones that they happen to buy from some random vendor. I mean, when, you know, if, if I hire somebody today to come to my house and, and you know, expand, you know, put, a, put an addition on my house, you know, I never say, oh, but before you get started, hold on, I've got some tools in the garage. I really want you to use those tools because I bought them. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a ridiculous- my tools. Yeah, right. Well, and, and, I, and I would fully expect that if I said that, they'd be like, what are you talking about? I'm the professional. I know what tools I need. Oh, by the way, the ones I buy are better than the ones you buy. I don't care what the sales guy at Home Depot <laughs> told you, right? And so at the end of the day, this is where marketing agencies need to go as well. Because if they don't, then they're giving up all of the power that they have any, um, on the technology side. Just because somebody has something in-house doesn't mean it's a better solution for them. Well, I think another uh, example would be you're getting an addition on your house and they come and show up with the plans and all the tools and say, all right, here you go. Right. What do you mean? Well, here's, you build it. You know, we're going to charge you for the, all the tools and the, and the, the blueprints and all that, but good luck. You know, you got to build it. Okay. Yourself. Precisely. Precisely. And it's ironic because, you know, I can think of very few people who would, who would, who would argue with that analogy, right. In, in, in reality, but when you bring it into the marketing space, yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, you know, every dentist and every HVAC guy thinks marketing is like some kind of like, you know, it's like learning the hacky sack or something. You could probably pick it up on the side. Um, but it's a ridiculous notion. I mean, marketing is it is a vocation like any other. It's changing every day. It requires expertise, experience, all of those things. And um, it's not a it's not a part time job. So I think that, you know, again, this is why we came to market the way we did. We fundamentally didn't believe that we could create a product that did amazing things for small businesses that small businesses themselves could run by themselves. A hundred percent. Um, and a good example for my experience is we had, um, hubs, we bought HubSpot marketing hub a couple years back and we were a smaller agency and we, you know, we had, we had a team of maybe 10, 12 or something like that, but, um, we bought it cause we're like, Oh, we need this, you know, thing <laughs> we paid $800, maybe eight fifty a month for a year. I was gonna say you got off cheap, <laughs> and we and we implemented pretty much nothing. Like there was an initial kind of like cool, and then we got busy with clients, and then it was a lot of work to set all this stuff up and make it actually do anything. So, you know, for us internally, we we did nothing with it, and we we still had to pay eight hundred some dollars a month, and it sat dormant for ten months of those right. twelve months. Right. So, and we were so pissed. We we're like, damn. And so now we have HubSpot free and we, you know, we, all our marketing kind of stuff is, is separate, but um, we just use it for the CRM and it's literally at the basic level of what we, we need for it from a sales perspective. Right. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just sometimes you're not going to use the platform that you purchase. And as for yeah. our clients, that's most of the time, oh, we were going to buy this thing and then they don't do nothing with it. So, yeah, I, I would agree with that. And, and again, I think that's, that's where there needs to be a really clear understanding that, you know, if you need something in the sales and marketing area, and, and I think this is a big fundamental change we'll see in the next couple of years is as an agency, you will need to take thought leadership on the technology side, the way you do on the services side. Right. And I think that's the, the change that's going to happen. 
And 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 I think if agencies don't take that up as their mantle, someone else is going to come in and fill the void. And I, I promise you, that person will be a venture backed, you know, publicly traded uh, software company who doesn't have your customer's best interest at heart and could care less whether they have they pay them for dormant software or not. Whereas you know, as an agency, yeah. you, you know you're in passion to help your customer and you really care if they're getting the outcomes that they're paying you for. And so why should they suffer on the technology side, um, you know, any any less than or more than on the services side? Yeah, so um, there's, <clears throat> yeah, for us, we're all, we're service, you know, we're we're taking everything off their plate as, we, as much as possible and saying, we're gonna do it for you, walk you through it, and you can be as little involved as possible, whether it's a website or whatever. And everything we do is subscription model uh, versus any kind of upfront cost or nothing. It's all flat fees like you kind of, yeah. And we do that from a marketing and web development side. Is that the same as a retainer model? Uh, I guess you could consider it that. Yeah. So for like yeah. a website, we charge a flat fee per month, no upfront yep. cost. We build the website, manage it, unlimited changes, hosting, all, everything. Right. Yeah. I think a lot of times clients are like, well, I got to get involved. So I don't want to buy a website and then you buy it and then you, you're, you're left with it. Where for us, it's ever changing uh, totally. all the time, yeah. and, Absolutely. Uh, which is how it should be. And um, so that's a, like our model, which is great. Now, then you got like a um, some of the bigger companies out there, like Scorpion, right? Yep. I hear you, Scorpion. I know you're out there. Listen oh, yeah, there. they're huge. Uh, they're huge. And so they have actually, we actually spoke with someone from Scorpion, and uh, they're excess of $300 million per year, something like that. And um, and we, we watch them. We learn from them. Uh, they're, they're a huge player. Um, and they're in law and they're in HVAC. Um, so, and, and many other verticals as well. But one of the gentlemen that we, we spoke with there, he was actually in acquisitions uh, um, talking to us and we wanted to know more about, you know, what they were up to and things like that. So he really said that they were a service company backed by technology, which is kind of what we are, I would say. And, but they've, they're now a technology company. Yep, they got backed the message. Service is what they say. Yeah, they, they got the message. They're building a lot of their own in-house tools. Yes, so they're they're doing a platform that you buy into the platform, and they'll they'll give you some assistance and do some stuff for you. But there's also like you can do it yourself type of program. Yep. So they just want to get you in the system, um, and it's uh, proprietary. Uh, the downsides with Scorpion, though, obviously, is you don't get the website, you don't get anything, pretty much. You got to stay with them, like, or you you lose everything you invested into, pretty much. Um, but see, they, they recognize something, right? So one, software is cheaper than service, so it creates an easier yes to get you in the door. And yes. then two, software is incredibly sticky. So if I get you to adopt my software, you, you, maybe you come on with the services, maybe you come off, but I don't care because you don't leave me, I, you're still a customer. And the margin on software is dramatically higher than service. It's crazy. And so, um, and this is exactly what we're doing for agencies. We are, we are allowing you to deploy these exact types of solutions at yeah. scale. And again, we work with 11,000 agencies today and 280,000 SMBs. Wow. Um, so we have a very big platform. And this, and, and but, but Scorpion is correct, I think, in their go-to-market strategy because fa fast forward, you know, five or 10 years, I think you'll see that almost every business that you're serving will buy direct from an agency or someone like an agency because they need more than just the software. They need that service add-on. And if you yeah. look at the you know the service titans of the world those sorts of things they are never going to get a dime towards service because their backers um, would never let them stand up an SEO or ABC or any of that stuff because it's too low margin for those guys right but that's yeah. not really what the, the that's not what the law firm needs that's not what the HVAC guy needs he needs both right that's why it's so important I think that agencies take this direction yeah hundred percent and um, yeah and Scorpion's crushing it and they're doing fine but it's just you know we're gonna we're gonna tell you why not to do that. And, uh, but you know, when they're comparable, well, there's this cheap and I get all this stuff and you know, it's a, again, you're, you're getting sold a platform and then they go, nothing's <laughs> happening. Yeah. I don't get the service I need. Uh, this isn't working. And then, uh, you're locked in for a contract and then everything they did is out the window. So, you know, then they don't want to switch because they've put some effort into it. That's so, right. um, and that's the thing. So for like us, we, we took a, a chance a couple of years back and we're like, you know what? We're going to offer unlimited changes every month. So we used to have all these like, you get two hours of changes for this much. You get four hours of changes. And we're like, you know what? Unlimited everything. 
yeah. ads, website for one flat cost per month. You get unlimited everything. And we're like, this might not be a good idea. Um, and I, I think, you know, Scorpion's kind of doing like, hey, for this price, you get into our system and you get everything. But then the client's got to do it all. The, you know, they have to invest time and energy or call Scorpion to get them to actually assist with it. And they might charge you extra for that. But um, so the, you've got all these bells and whistles. But who's going to help you? That's right. Work That's, through it. It, it, it sounds like it almost sounds like they're not doing service at all anymore. <laughs> right. Way less. It, they've they've yeah. got it to where it's uh, they they push AI and and other types yeah, of things. So I mean, that, they're not going to have that's, someone involved unless they really that's have a terrible to. Mistake, though, right? Because that that yeah. the magic is the magic is is the service and the software together, right? That's the magic. Not the if 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 all the world needed was software, you know, we we'd, we'd all be out of a job. That that stuff's already out there, right? <laughs> be in the matrix. Uh, but, yeah. Well, you know, it, but you know, go you know, go buy Active Campaign and then. Tell me how you know. Get, I'll get. I'll see you in a month, and let's just see if you've done anything with it. My bet is you probably added some contacts. Um, you know, you need more than just <laughs> a tool. Again, you know, a hammer uh, to to build a house. You need expertise and someone to assist you. So I think this is where. Yeah, I think that's a that's a huge mistake to just be. Well, you know, like a, um, <clears throat> if you do pay for like a a HubSpot or one of those kind of systems or Salesforce, you you'll get an initial like little. Yeah. You can talk to this guy for like an hour, and then. Three thousand bucks. You we'll got set up a couple. Power. We'll set up a couple sure. templates for you, and then whew, see ya. <laughs> That's right. You know? Exactly. Well, because their goal, right, is to get you bought into that yearly contract, and then they're out, right? That's not. Yeah. That's, that's that's exactly. That was probably your experience as well when you bought HubSpot. I bet you paid a big setup fee and got on for an hour. Oh yeah. We and then eight hundred and some dollars a month. It was, uh, and we paid it and paid it and paid it until we couldn't wait to get. Off it, and right. we their, way to get out. And we went to their free model, which is we haven't paid a cent since uh, or t for two years. And uh, it again for that does more than we need to, and uh, for the sales side of things. And um, you know, but we're getting to the point where we you know we need a little extra things, and we're not willing to probably. Uh, yeah, see, pay there, there's, there's there's you know, you've been down that road before, but that's exactly why they released their free CRM, right? Because they because at their size now, they're trying to figure out how do I bait you up. Um, yeah. And actually an interesting example of like, I, I tried that product out three years ago, four years ago, and they would have that thing that would show you when people would open emails. And they said, I forgot what it was. You get like a hundred of those or 200 of those or whatever. But when I hit my limit, it did, it's not like it just didn't show me the next one. It blanked out all the prior ones. And I was like, mm. of course, that's oh, the yeah. one. right. They're trying to find a way to bait you up. And I think that's a ridiculous way to play. Um, and, and they'll remove they features too. Like, Hey, what? Where had this go? Well, they took. That's now part of the paid program. <laughs> right, right, yeah. exactly. See, so there you go. So you need to. I think all of these things are really interesting because if you haven't been through it before, you can easily fall into these traps, right? But this is also again where I think these are the techniques these businesses are relying on to try to get the end business to upgrade to their platforms or to come into their platforms to begin with, instead of really offering them something valuable like end results, help, service. But again. They can't build models on that. This is why agencies are doing so well. I think this is why agencies, digital marketing agencies are in such high demand and why they'll continue to be. Because again, technology is not going to get simpler. <laughs> it's going to get more complex. And, it, and, and it's going to be more and more the kind of thing that tool where as, an, as a business, you might do some things in, in these technologies like respond to messages, respond to reviews, but you're not going to be building out elaborate workflow sequences and you know email campaigns and that sort of thing. That's going to be where you need help. A hundred percent. So this is actually a question from looks like my agency. I wonder who it was. Uh, <laughs> if you work with Scorpion, and I'll, I know the answer to this one, but if you work with Scorpion and they build your SEO value, do you lose that SEO equity should you decide to leave? Um, I'll answer that unless you want to. Oh, I don't know. I, I want to hear. Okay. So, so the answer at, at the surface, maybe from them, would be no. Of course not. You you own all. You know, if you fulfill your <laughs> contract any content we developed or whatever you can have. But what they don't really explain well is their websites are built on a proprietary system. So your actual website, you do not get. And the structure of your website, the code of your website, the metadata, the structure, right. the, the URL structure, all that stuff, interlinking, like you'd have to like literally go rebuild a site that matches that as best right. as possible with the same content and and then hopefully try to you know establish or, or can you know keep your seo value 
Right. Um, obviously, you won't disappear overnight. If the but so what I told people, if you're listening, uh, Scorpion, you you talk to an agency a month or two, maybe two or three months. If you not if you don't think you're going to continue with them, that way there's a live site to go look at. And right. Copy and paste. Start, Sort of, you know, try to start rebuilding what you had and, you know, minimize the damage. But you're not going to get a copy of their proprietary system. Right, so right, you, right. you literally have to build from the ground up again. Yeah. So they're not using WordPress. They're not using WordPress. And that's all we develop in. But so you literally have to go build it by looking at their site, pull in as much as you can. You, know, you can get some assets, some CSS files, and some all the graphics. Mm -hmm. um, but you, if you cancel with them and then call someone like you're, you, we have no yeah, clue, right, but, you know, yeah. way back machine, you can use some other tools like that. Um, but a, a website company like that's, that's exactly why we're launching WordPress hosting this quarter, because oh, sweet. You know, we, uh, you know, we, we're, we're building Google cloud and we got some access to some very early tech, uh, uh, Google CDN. And we're now able to offer WordPress hosting at scale at very inexpensively. And, you know, again, good agencies, nice. work, you know, are going to, stand behind their products and they're not going to build on proprietary CMSs because they know that that's a bait and switch tactic. Yeah. So we, we push hard that, Hey, we're, we were developing WordPress and if you leave, you take it with you, we'll deploy it for you. And yeah. your SEO value that you spent two or three years with us and you decide you're leaving, uh, that goes with, with, a, you know, with you. Yeah, so this is important. That's huge. I mean, if you've been three, four years, five years, um, it could be a massive, hit to the business oh absolutely and, um or the web company that's if they don't do like us like they charge a a flat cost or a project they might charge you a ton of money to try to rebuild that and then say we can't promise you and don't be mad if, uh, at us if your seo goes to crap <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's it's not a good situation but a good question there from my team somebody i'm not sure it was but so last question uh, I do have to jump on to a another call. It looks like, but um, what's the best way to, to reach out and contact you? I have your website posted. Yeah, in the um, yeah. So I mean, we've got a thirteen thousand person Facebook group, um, all digital marketers. But you got to buy the product first <laughs> to get in. Um, if you want to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff, definitely go to YouTube, search high level. Um, but you know, again, fourteen day free trial for anybody who wants to check it out. And uh, you know, again, eleven thousand agencies and climbing. So come on awesome. down. Pretty awesome. So quick question, because we do talk about revenue on here. We're trying to get a hundred million ourselves in revenue yeah. by 2030. Where are you guys at staff wise, company size? Uh, 150 team members today um, wow. and, nice. and growing um, pretty, pretty significantly. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, up, we're, we're on our way. I mean, we're not, we're not quite a hundred million net ourselves, but, but uh, we think, we think there's, we think it's possible with, at least within the next two years. That's excellent. Yeah. We, we, you know, we had till 2030 for what we're looking for. Um, and, uh, we got a ways to go too, but we it's are, not easy we're to moving. Do million. <laughs> What's that? It's not easy to do. The first million is very challenging <laughs> and, uh, well, that's true. it's very tough to do. And I and, still and feel like getting from one to a hundred is still kind of tough. To do. That's going to be really tough. That's way tougher. I think, but the, <laughs> the first million took us quite a long time. And, and we have a second engine that we started that will is probably at 300,000 within uh, and we got to the end of the year that we're trying to get that to a million. So, um, and that's kind of our, our model going forward is other, that's that's really other cool. niches and, and brands. But um, so, yeah, that's exciting though. So congrats on that. And uh, thanks for joining me today. And yeah, thanks for having me. It was good to be here. Yeah. Anyone listening, uh, please check out high level. Also check out journey to hundred million.com. We'll have Sean's episode up on there. We'll also be on every single podcasting platform you can imagine. And uh, you got any questions, connect with Sean, reach out to me on, on LinkedIn, Kevin Daisy, and ask me any questions you have. If you want to connect with Sean, I will connect you with him. And uh, go check out the software. Uh, I know I will. And um, and I also soon will be on Sean's podcast. So I'm looking That's forward right. to that. We're going to have Kevin on here very soon. So definitely watch, watch for that. Excellent. All right. Well, everyone have a good afternoon. Happy Friday. And we will see you soon. Bye, everybody.